What's going on fam? This is where you at bro, here to bring to you another workout. And today we're hitting legs, back, and shoulders. All right, let's go ahead and get into this thing. All right, fam, to kick this whole thing up, we're gonna start with band squats. All right, so I'm not gonna do too much talking. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, to make this workout, get yourself a medium-sized resistant band. And what you're gonna do is, depend on how much resistance you want, you either can put um, your foot or you put your feet into it to make it harder. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm putting both my um, foot into it, well, my feet into it. I determine how wide I want my legs to be. That was gonna increase the resistance on there. You're gonna bring the weight up. Let's have it out. And then you're gonna squat. All right, keep your core tight so that it's not pulling you any kind of way. Core tight to keep you stabilized. And make sure you're flexing your quad muscle because that's the primary muscle you're working on. Let's go ahead and go. <laughs> Now we're moving on to wide grip cable row. All right, so again, wider than normal, wider than shoulder width apart. That's the whole point. All right, so let's go ahead and hit this one. All right, guys. As I said, this is wider than normal. So again, got my medium, medium band. All right, normal will be here for me. Wider will be out here. So this is what we're getting ready to do. All right, for me, I'm gonna go ahead and use my legs as well in this whole thing. So I'm gonna do a squat. You don't have to squat, you can say it straight up, but I'm going to squat just to add a little more emphasis to my workout. All right, so ready, let's go. Now we moved on to lat pull down. Let's go ahead and hit this one. All right, guys. Normally for lat pull down, I'll use this door anchor that you see me having here, this orange one I have. But since I have my machine and it's giving me the ability to do lat pull down without using my door anchor and for time purposes, I'm going ahead and use this one here. So here you want to get into a lat angle position, you know, which is lining up with the band. You know, the band is in this angle, so I'm going to line my body up with it. And you're going to pull down using your um, traps in your back. All right, so let's go. Now we're moving on to low band row. All right, check this one out. All right, fam. <clears throat> what makes this a low band row is pretty much, again, keyword low, having the band lower. We're putting it from a lower position. So again, we're working on our lower back. So I'm gonna have it as low as I can, belly buttoning down if I can. And I'm gonna pull it, again, with my back muscle. All right, so I'm gonna squat down a little bit and let's pull. 
All right, fam, so now we're moving on to bad flies. For this one, you're gonna need something a little bit lighter, so go ahead and pick it out. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so here go another workout where you determine how much resistance you need for it. Putting a foot into it makes it lighter, putting both of them in it, and also widening your stance makes it a whole lot uh, uh, more difficult. So as of right now, I'm putting just one of my feet into it, well, foot into it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go. All right, so keep your core tight for stability and set straight up, and then you're just gonna extend your arm and head. Um, do not, I'm just gonna say this, do not go past your shoulder when doing this. So you wanna go up to right here and down. Don't be going way up here. That's not the movement, let's not do that. So go as high as your shoulders um, level is and then bring right back down. Repeat it from that point on. All right, so let's go ahead and go. guys want to see I'm sweating I'm really perspirating right now but anyway so now we're moving on to rear delt cable flies I'm gonna do this on my machine with the band you can definitely well you will have to if you don't have something that is a pole standing straight up but do this with your um, door anchor all right this is going to go all right somewhere low me right here then over so I can hit the rear, rear area, and, well, you know what? This way. All right. I'm gonna hit the rear right here. Got it backwards. All right, let's go. <sighs> All right, guys, so I'm exhausted. And let me tell you one of the reasons why I'm exhausted. I'm really not taking a break in between any of the movements. I'm pretty much doing like supersets in between each one of them. So I'm doing one movement after the other, after the other. So it's sort of like hitting cardio while I'm doing the bends. But it's, so it's really um, starting to take a toll on me where I'm losing breath, but that's a good thing. So I'm exhausting my muscle while I'm doing that as well. So now we're getting ready to do lunges, but with the bands. So I want you to check this one out. All right, put, um, put a single foot in there, put your foot in there. You're gonna hold the band up, and then you're gonna lunge backwards. All right, let's go.
right, guys, we just completed legs, back, and shoulder with bends at home. That is amazing, guys, so I'm so proud of you. If you haven't done so already, give me a thumbs up, all right? Hit that subscribe button down below, as well as leave a comment and share this video with somebody else. If you're looking for more band workouts, I want you to check out this one right here. This is where you're at, bro. Signing out. Peace. See you in the next workout.